Redox reactions are reactions where one species is oxidized and the other is reduced. And this is the example equation that we're going to use to talk about that. And so oxidation can be observed using one of these four things. Either the gain of oxygen, and so when a substance gains oxygen, because oxygen is very electronegative, it draws the electrons to itself. And so this gains a pause and this gains a neg charge. And so it's a very polar covalent bond. And so we regard that as electrons leaving the hydrogen and sticking to the oxygen more. And so that, that happens whenever something gains oxygen. It also loses electrons because these two are linked together because the oxygen takes the electrons. And there's also a vice versa for that. Hydrogen likes to give its electrons. And so when you lose hydrogen, it takes its electrons with it when it was rather generous when it was joined up. So if you lose this hydrogen, then that is regarded as being oxidized. And later on, we'll look at oxidation numbers as a way to work those things out. And so in this particular instance, the hydrogen has both lost its electron and gained oxygen. So there's two reasons in this particular set of why hydrogen is oxidized. Looking at the reverse, everything's reversed for, ox uh, for reduction. So now it's the loss of oxygen, the gain of hydrogen, the gain of electrons, and later on we'll look at uh, decrease in oxidation number. So here you can see that the what has been reduced is the oxygen because it has gained hydrogen. Here we go, gained hydrogen. And the hydrogen is generous, and so it also gains electrons as well. So the oxygen has been reduced in this case.